The climate crisis is not a distant threat. It is already here. While the so-called developed world of the global north races for the future impact of climate change, millions in the global south have already been living with its devastating consequences. We have witnessed the pain of entire communities who have lost lives, livelihoods, homes, and family belongings to extreme weather events. In my own country of Mozambique, tropical cyclones Idai and Kenneth caused a huge loss of life and widespread displacement in 2019. Ordinary citizens, climate activists, and civil society organizations on the front lines of climate change are working tirelessly to find solution to the climate crisis. Increased investment in renewable energy and climate resilient infrastructure are needed for countries in the global south so they are able to transition to low carbon energy sources while still meeting critical development and economic growth targets. As we turn attention to the global economic recovery from COVID-19, we must prioritize international solidarity. We have to be more bolder and equitable in the seeds we sow today to reap the fruits of a more climate-just world tomorrow.